What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time the new Marvel film, Avengers Infinity War. Avengers Infinity War is directed by the Russo brothers, stars basically everyone from the Marvel Universe, so I'm not really going to get into that, and is the epic part one conclusion of a storyline that started a decade ago. If you've seen the trailers, I'm sure you know the premise of the film. Basically, Thanos, the Mad Titan, is trying to collect all of the Infinity Stones to put them into his Infinity Gauntlet so that he can destroy half of the population of the universe with the snap of his fingers, and it is the job of the Avengers and other heroes in the Marvel Universe to try and stop him. Now, I'm just going to get this out of the way in the beginning. This will be a spoiler-free review, but along with that, that does mean that I have to be fairly vague about a lot of things that I talk about. I will be doing a spoiler review on Monday, but right now this will have to be somewhat vague because I really don't want to spoil anything for anyone. I think the biggest thing that there is to bring up in this film is I have to give a ton of props to the Russo brothers for making this film. This movie is beautifully directed. They don't really use any shaky cam or bad sort of cinematography to try and hide any of the action. All of the action is well choreographed. It looks really good. There's very wide shots. They make this whole film feel very big. Every single scene has so much depth to it and as far as you can see that it feels like this massive film. Everything feels so huge. I haven't watched a movie that felt as big as this, I would say arguably since Return of the King. And also they had the massive job of taking a series that has had 18 films in the making over a 10 year period that all led up to this point and they had the job of making it work and I have to give them props because they handled it wonderfully. Most people would have crumbled under that sort of pressure, but they did an amazing job. All of the performances in the movie are great. I think the two specific ones that I would really pick out are Robert Downey Jr. and Josh Brolin. Thanos as a villain in this movie is so good. He's probably the best villain the Marvel Universe has had, which I think should obviously be the case, because he's also the first real physical challenge that I feel they've had. I know Loki and the Chitauri were a challenge in the first Avengers film, and Ultron was a challenge in the second, but not to the extent of Thanos. Thanos could literally destroy them even when they're all working together. Everyone else had to sort of pull them apart and separate them to defeat them. Thanos can fight fight them all at once and still have the chance at victory. And Josh Brolin actually did the mocap and the voiceover for Thanos, and he did such a wonderful job. I don't even know where you would start in the casting process for a character like Thanos, but they did a phenomenal job picking Josh Brolin. And then the other performance that I feel like I have to pick out is Robert Downey Jr., and maybe that's cliche at this point to say Robert Downey Jr. does a good job, but this film has a lot more for Iron Man, Tony Stark, to do, because in this film, Marvel takes their kid gloves off, and I think that that's something that a lot of people have wanted to see for a while, and this movie, they finally do it. Everyone's always like, oh, well, they kind of did it in Ultron, or they kind of did it in this movie, but this film is the definitive moment where Marvel decides we have to take steps to make this feel real, and we have to take steps to make all of this feel like there is truly something great at stake, and they do that wonderfully. It's handled so well, and because of that, RDJ had a, but a much tougher job than he normally does. And then basically, as with all Marvel movies, the comedy is very good in this film. They do a great job landing jokes. They don't all rely entirely on the team-up aspect either, which I think is very good. There are a lot of just very funny quips that are thrown out throughout the film, and they definitely hit the mark. I was in an entirely sold-out theater, and everyone was laughing and having a great time at the comedy in the film. It's not the most funny movie, but it shouldn't be. It needs to take a more serious tone, but the comedy helps break up some of that really, really dramatic stuff that happens in the film and I thought that that worked very well because it needed that. And it was also nice because all the comedy didn't have to fall on like one or two people. Almost everyone in the film has their own little moments or their own little jokes to make the audience laugh and I felt like it was good to spread that out because specifically in this movie, as I said, Robert Downey Jr. who plays Tony Stark, Tony Stark is normally the most funny character in any movie that he's in, but he has to take a more serious tone in this film so it was nice that some of the comedy could be lifted off of his shoulders and put on other characters in the film. As I said before, the action in this movie is phenomenal. I would argue that it has the best action in the whole Marvel Universe. The only one specific sequence I could say that is probably better is the airport scene in Civil War, but I think the fact that this movie in its entirety has so many great action sequences that it definitely takes the cake for being the best in the universe thus far, and I think that that's very impressive because, as I said, they had 
had to spread things out. They have to make sure every single person gets their own moments and their cool sequences, and they really do that. Every single character in this movie has their moment of like, that was super dope, good on you, even if they're like a pretty side character who doesn't have a lot of lines in the film. This movie is just a ton of fun. It's the definition of a big summer blockbuster that you've been waiting for all year. I haven't had this much excitement to see a movie since I went and saw Force Awakens for the first time, and just like with Force Awakens, I was completely enamored from start to finish by the film. And then with the team up aspect, it's great because we get to see these characters that we have watched on screen for so many years now finally interact with one another. These are people that have had multiple movies on their own and they've just never met and yet when they mesh together it fits so perfectly but it's like a mishap. It's like it shouldn't happen but because they're forced into this situation it adds comedy, it adds drama, and it makes everything feel so big. It adds all this extra depth to the film which is very important because the story of this movie is so massive. It's so big. The scale could not be any bigger. It is literally the universe. They are fighting to protect the universe, and the Avengers have never had a situation like that before, and I think because of that, it makes the whole movie have this grandiose scale that can't be matched by many other movies. Now, that's not to say that the film is perfect. It definitely does have some flaws. One of them for me is a spoiler thing that I can't really talk about very much, but there is a specific character in the film, or really there's a couple characters to me that either felt underutilized or overhyped, and then there was another one that very much pulled me out of the film whenever they were on screen because they just felt very out of place in the film. And it's not that they did a bad job, it's not that any of the performances were bad or anything like that, it's literally just with the tone of the film and the way it was going, there was one specific character to me that just felt very out of place and was almost uncomfortable in some of the scenes, and I didn't really enjoy that, it pulled me out of the movie a lot. And there were a few other characters to me that were very hyped and very big characters that ended up not being very important in the film. This film is also 18 movies in the making. It's been a 10 year long process to get here and while I understand that we've all had all of these previous films to become attached to these characters, I don't need new attachment to them. Personally, I felt that the film handled that very well and that it's a team up film. We'll, we're, we are all already attached to these characters so when you bring them all together you don't necessarily need to have more character development. However, what I do think needs needed to be there a little bit more was some more team development because in Avengers 1 when they're all brought together we have quite a few sequences before we get a fight with the Avengers working as a team and I felt like that was the one thing in this movie that felt a little off was that there are a lot of characters that get thrown in together and we don't really get those moments of like conversation between them where they sort of form their bond and grow together into a cohesive unit to try and fight together. It's not that it needed to be some crazy length, but just I felt there were a couple sequences that needed a little more of that. Because in all of the previous team-up films, that was such an important aspect of them, and I feel like just because we were attached to these characters, they felt they didn't need to include that, but j we were attached to them in Avengers 1, but you still did that because it was necessary. This film is two and a half hours long. It's already an epic, and I honestly would have preferred it to be 10 or 15 minutes longer, just stretch it to the 245 mark like other Marvel films have just so we could get those extra moments and add some comedy, add some drama, and then add some extra building between these characters so it feels more realistic that they work so well together as a cohesive unit. The biggest issue that I have with the film, though, is the pacing. It moves at a breakneck speed. This movie constantly has stuff going on, but the beginning can feel a little clunky because the tone is jumping around so much as we're following different characters in different places, having different storylines that are all just revolving around. Thanos, and I think that that was something that very much felt a little off. However, it's something that sort of had to be there. There was no way around that. But the other issue that I have is that throughout the film, we would get those big action sequences, and then we'd get those team up moments, and we'd get those fights, and we'd get this and that. But the problem is that the general consistent tone would kind of jump around every once in a while. We'd be in one sequence that felt kind of fun, and then we'd jump into something that was like Shakespearean drama, and it was like there needed to be more of a shift there so it didn't feel so drastic to just like flip-flop into this next scene that's so big and dramatic, because there needed to be that sort of bridge between those, and at times it felt like that bridge wasn't there, and we just hopped to this storyline because we needed to get to that part of the film. It didn't ruin the movie 
movie by any means, but I think that that's by far the biggest issue with the film. I'm gonna give Avengers Infinity War an A-. minus. This movie is a ton of fun. If you are a Marvel fan, if you are a fan of superhero movies, go watch this movie. Honestly, you should probably go watch this movie no matter what. As I said, I will have a spoiler video up on Monday because I'm going to see the film a second time in a couple days. But the thing with this movie is, and it's really something that I feel like a lot of people are underselling about it, is that this film is something that will be written about in film textbooks. This is something that we've never seen before. It may not be a Citizen Kane, or a No Country for Old Men, or a Pulp Fiction, or a Psycho, but this movie is something that will go down in history because of how important it is. This movie showed that you can start something 10 years ago when I'm sitting in a class in junior high and then all the way fast forward through all those years through all those films and have a culminating moment that brings people together. This is a moment in film history and I definitely recommend watching it in theaters so you can be part of that. Well guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Infinity War, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and I hope to see you guys later.